Good morning from Pismo Beach, California. We are happy today because there's only water on the ground and it has stopped falling from the clouds above us, at least for the time being. Uh, we only have a couple days left, as far as I can tell. Today's Tuesday, then we ride Wednesday, and then Thursday is our final day. Um, we um, have a little bit of a profile report from the man behind me, Rick Babington. <laughs> All right, well, the profile today is a bit more ripply than yesterday. Um, I, I came up with that scientific term, ripply. So these guys, these, these guys are going to find out what ripply actually means. Um, some use the word undulating, so if you know that, if you know that one, uh, you're, you're in there. So we're headed for Solvang today uh, by way of Lompoc and then down Santa Rosa Road, which is a great ride, so we're going to have some fun today. We have a special uh, rider who's joined us today, Scotty Rolfs. He and his wife Janice uh, left Colorado two days ago. Their car broke down in Blythe, California, which was one of our overnight stops last year. <laughs> they got a rental car. They made it here. Uh, it's the sequel, Planes, Trains, Automobiles, and Carbon Fiber Bikes. Um, you remember we dedicated a, our ride about a week and a half ago or two weeks ago to uh, their daughter Ellie, who had a scan scare. And um, everything is great, which is why Scotty's here, of course. Uh, Ellie is at school in Colorado right now, unless of course she decided to skip and go to the movies, which I hope she did. <laughs> Maybe with the babysitter or something. Hopefully she didn't do it on her own. Um, she oh, she okay. She's driving already. <laughs> um, in Colorado, you can drive with two feet, and you can drive when you're under ten. So um, <laughs> we're really excited that you're here, dude. I'm psyched to be here. Glad to be here. It's uh, yeah. We'll talk more with him on the road. <laughs> We have two dedications today. We're going to start dedicating to a lot of kids because a lot of people are emailing us now that we're, we're up in our zone and uh, we want to get to everybody that we can. Pearl Avery Holland um, took her first visit to St. Louis Children's in a helicopter. And um, like our route today, her time in, as a cancer patient has been up and down and up and down. She was diagnosed with one thing and then turned out to be another thing and then it turned out to be this thing called pediatric cancer. She had one of her kidneys removed and a third of her other kidney removed, just like Pablo. Um, the remaining kidney in her body is not working as well as it ought to be and uh, she is now done with chemo and she is eligible for a kidney transplant but only after two years of being off chemo. So let's keep that in mind when we're riding today guys. Um, that's a big deal. That's a long time to wait, two years. Um, so Pearl, we are riding for you today. Our other dedication today is to Josiah Zapata, who is uh, four years old, lives in Nashville. We haven't had a dedication in Tennessee this whole time, and I'm excited to, uh, to throw one out to the volunteer state. And um, they were on the wrong side of the war, but we'll forgive them today. Um, <laughs> Josiah has been, uh, sorry, I have to bring a little bit of levity into this, guys, you know. These guys are rocking. They've made it through. Um, Josiah had his last scans at the end of August. He is clear, and um, he gets a new scan uh, in about a week and a few days on October 27. Um, <laughs> cancer kids are miraculous, amazing, uh, graceful little kids, I swear to you. They are different from... Um, Kurt is standing behind Suman, he's one of our swan years, his son Rory is in first grade. He's an amazing kid. Kids with cancer, like get a gold star on top of that. Um, Josiah taught himself how to read with his big brother uh, a few weeks ago. And that's the kind of stuff that cancer kids get down to. I don't know how they do it. I've seen it happen a million times. The most amazing things happen with these kids. Uh, something about the chemo and the radiation and the waiting all the time in hospital beds must do something to them. So um, we are going to ride now. We're going to try and stay uh, dry. We're definitely going to stay safe. Pablovacrossamerica.com is the website or P-A-B-L-O-V-E.org if you're just tuning in. See you later.